how to start liking your photos finally. Hello friends, my name is Anastasia, I am a portrait photographer and content creator based in Athens in Greece. Situation when you have found nice spot, good lighting, everything is okay, you have your tea. And neighbors are making noise. So excuse me for any external voices that you will hear. Today we have a really interesting topic to discuss. In the past, when looking to my photos, I was like, why I have that face? Why I'm smiling like that? Why my body looks like this? And many other similar questions. I really thought that I was ugly. When somebody took a picture of me or when looking at group photos, this was a very unpleasant thing to me. I always could find something that I didn't like about my appearance, especially when I was a teenager. Oh, this comparison with everybody. Looking at models, stars and later at famous influencers, I thought that they are so beautiful and how they achieve to look so gorgeous on every photo. I thought that this is uh, their natural characteristics. I was sure that they have some natural characteristics that I don't have. And now I'm going to uncover a big truth. Do you know that everybody can look good on a photo? What? Really? You didn't know that? Let me explain. Actually, I only realized that when I started learning photography, shooting other people and later creating self-portraits. I specialize in portraits and the fact that I'm working a lot with people helped me to understand how to make everybody look beautiful on a photo. And no, this isn't about Photoshop. I am not a fan of Photoshop adjustment to the face or body and I try to avoid that. First, this is so time-consuming and second, this is against my beliefs. I always remove temporal blemishes or pimples, but I never make a plastic surgery on people. Later, I started to create my own self-portraits because I could be as much creative as I wanted and I knew that that will help me to like more my picture. The more I practiced, the better results I had and now I can say 100% that if I find myself beautiful in pictures, then anybody can. When taking a photo, there are both technical and psychological issues that affect the results. So let's just jump into the tips that will help you to achieve that. Oof, it was so loud outside, so I changed my location. Tip number one, consider your lighting. If you don't have enough lighting in the room or don't find its better direction for you, then possibilities are that you won't like the result. Look at me now, I have circles under my eyes and wrinkles that make me look older. Of course, I don't need that. But now I turn my face to the window and it's fully covered by the light. All face parts are highlighted and I look better. So, if you're not a photographer and don't know all these lighting rules, then just follow this safe tip for your next selfie. This sounds pretty obvious, but I need to mention that sometimes a nude makeup can make the difference and refresh your face. This applies to outfit selection too, as well as picking fabrics and colors that flatter you. In my photography, I pay attention to the color palette, and after that, I consider my location and my outfit. A Pinterest research really helps. You can create a mood board of ideas and poses that you want to use and follow it step by step. Also, you can have a look at my previous video, which is all about posing tips. Tip number two, avoid using filters all the time. Stories and filters came to us from Snapchat, which I never used, and now we have them on other social media as well. You know those beauty and makeup filters that changes our face completely? They make to us this foxy eye shape, bigger lips and add extra contouring. I want to mention here that we all are guilty of using them. Sometimes for fun or we have days that we just don't feel good enough, those days that we are not that happy about our skin. And this is okay, but I believe if you never can take a photo or create an Instagram story of yourself without a filter because you feel bad about your image, then I think this can turn out into a problem. I am not talking about using a filter as your unique style or as a part of your online performance, if this is part of your work. I'm talking about people who can take a simple selfie without a filter that changes their face. Here I would suggest to practice more on taking photos without any filter and then you will get used to your image. And here we go to tip number four, don't be hard on yourself. 
sometimes we are the harshest critic of ourselves and find some disadvantages that others actually never see. Give some time to yourself and practice on taking your own photos or ask a friend to help or once in a while you can hire a photographer. There is nothing to be ashamed of and you can always find a photographer that suits your budget. Professionals know how to make images that flatter you and can show your unique self in your portrait. Tip number five, analyze your old photos. When we were younger, we used to look at our older photos and we felt bad about ourselves, as I mentioned before. Now, when I'm looking at my old photos, I actually think that I was so cute child. And what I thought as weird expressions now seem to me so unique. Tip number six, Follow people that are on camera almost every day. When you're following your favorite bloggers and influencers, you may notice that most part of the day they are simply dressed or even without makeup. This is actually a trend that started not that long time ago, which I found very good. This trend is about accepting yourself. A lot of people actually have this belief that we should accept ourselves as it is and we don't have to look the same. I think this is all about the type of influences that we have every day and the mood that they create to us. At the end of the day, your mood is what is important. And I guess we are on our last tip, add your personality to your photos. You can see out there photos of people that look basically the same and this is boring. Sometimes you see a profile, yeah, it's beautiful, color palette and etc. But you're thinking, should I follow it or no, or it's the same with the previous one? But imagine if you visit a profile and see that every picture has its own personality, a unique style the creator added, then you probably will stay tuned. What is it that only you have among your friends, your family or your community? And bring it to the people. Your personality is the key in content creation because only you can pay attention to something and show it in a unique way in your photos. I believe that's all for today. Write down in comments what is your tip that makes you feel better in photos or if you are just starting in this journey. I am interested to read your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, put a like on it. If you're new here and interested in content creation and photography, then watch my other videos and you will probably like them too. And maybe subscribe? I don't know, maybe? See you soon!